Hello, and yes, I know, I know, I'm, I've been quiet again. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to say it's Christmas, and I'm slightly burnt out, and that's that's my excuse. Sorry, you, you're not getting a better one. It's all I've got to offer. But I've got some more time off over Christmas, and I'm hoping to book some holidays, like, immediately on January the 1st, if not before. And uh, so I should be all good. But until then, let's do some reviews. And this is... Um, so I thought he's blessed him at one point went, hey, I'm having a clear out. Uh, there's some stuff in this like flash sale. If you want to have a look, see if there's anything you're interested. I'm like, well, bit cheeky. Don't like doing that kind of thing. But let's have a look. Ooh, um, can I call dibs on that one? He's like, yeah, sure, great. It's yours. I'm like, huh, awesome. And clearly, of course, what I went for was KO Beast Wars Waspinator. Because of course I did. Um... I love Waspinator. He's the he's the the perfect Transformers underdog. There's yeah, there's no one as down in the dumps, bottom of the line as Waspinator. Bless his little socks, and I do, I identify with that, frankly. And he's a nice enough little thing. He's a uh, very bright colours for what he is. Yeah, eyes on amazingly well uh, well painted. They don't go all the way up to the edge there, but you know they're fine bit better on that side. Um, some of the plastic's a little bit not great. But he's, he's there. He's got all the stripes and stuff. You know, he's got his wings. They've got the texture on some. They've got slightly glittery plastic, which I'm not sure about. This wing, as much as I've tried to tighten it, is still a little bit floop de doo which I'm a bit annoyed about. And I've had to do a, just a couple of bits and pieces. For example, these snapped off in the post. Not Sertoy's fault. Can't, can't really blame him for that. Because on the original, these were like a hard rubber. So if you put a little bit of weight on them, they just bend a bit and then go back. Not a problem. These, molded plastic, snapped off. And that's why they are at particularly wonky angles. I had to do my best to line them up, and it didn't work, basically. <laughs> uh, but for comparison with the original, well, this is a re-release, but it's still the original mold. Uh, I think these legs are just a bit bent, and that's why he's dropped down so much, but they're, they're the same thing, and he still looks really good. I mean, this is more cartoony colours, this is more real-life colours, potentially. But, can't argue with it, it's pretty neat. So let's move him off to the side, and I suppose we should get on with transforming him. So, it's exactly the same as the original. So we're going to lift it up, and we're going to get on this hinge here, we're going to get these. Now, that tab, ah, try and get it on camera for you. Go on, let's put it back. We're going to move it on the big hinge here, and we're going to fold it out. Now, these tabs go into the slots in the middle there, but on this, they only seem to grip on one side, eh, whatever. We're going to get them out to the side. And we're just going to sort of move them out of the way for a bit so they don't interfere. The arms themselves don't, but it's it's this stuff. So, yeah, we're just going to fold that out, get those out of the way. Now we're going to rotate the wings again out of the way. Early Beast Wars, things get in the way. It's not, it's not a big deal. We're going to get this upper leg piece, which is on a ball joint. And what we've got to do is pull it so that little nubbin comes out of that hole. Rotate out to the side. Nubbing out a hole, rotate to the side, and then we detach it from there because it just about clips in. Go on camera, just about clips in there, and rotate it on that hinge. Into, make sure this is out of the way, into there. Huzzah! And then we turn these so that this ball joint would go the way you want a leg to go. And then this piece is our ball joint, and these are somewhat tight. So I'm gonna. I have put oil in these. I think it's just uh, the way it's been molded. It uh, likes to turn like 45 degree angles. So, whatever. Then we fold it all up, and it goes into a leg. Yay, leg! So I'll do that, that side. Straighten that bit up. Get a hold of it. Turn that around. Rotate it up. Get into place. Yay, legs! Plus standing on. Now I can drop the wings back down. Also, straighten the arms out, fold the leggy bits 
back so they just hang off the arms. Again, early beast wars, you get what you give them. Rotate it back, sort it all out. And now we get to the nerve wracking part of the transformation, which on the original is absolutely fine. But what you gotta do is get this piece to untab from the back. It hooks in just behind the green collar pieces here. But the hooks on it are really beefy. And I imagine that may have been what happened. When you try and transform it, your thumb ends up putting pressure on these. And that's probably what snapped them off. So I'm, I have shaved them a little. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I have shaved those down a little bit. So pop that down, split the head, because it should split. Split. There we go. Slide them out on the sliders there. This one is a bit tighter. Rotate them down. And I think I trimmed that peg in there as well, because it was a bit long, but whatever. And there's a hole on that side, and a little nubbin on that side. So the peg goes in that hole, and the nubbin goes in that hole, or it's supposed to. It's mainly more just to line it off, make sure it's in the right place. Plus, the nubbin does not line up with that hole at all. See, the nubbin is here, and the hole is there. Great stuff. Okay. It'll stay there. Gravity will do the job. And he stands there, and he's cool. And we got the KO Beast Wars Waspinator in raw mode. Uh, I may have added this gold. Can't promise you anything, but I might have done. And he's exactly the way he should be. I mean, colours aren't quite right. Tolerances are a little bit iffy on a couple of things. But he's there. He's good. Yeah, ball joint. Ball joint. Ball joint swivel. Hinge. Uh, ball joint on the head. On this head, there is also a second head hidden in the back, in there, because for some reason the early Beast Wars figures had to have a rope mode head and a, a beast head, but frankly I never liked that head, oh, nice one hinge, I never liked that head and um, there's supposed to be another peg here which is clearly snapped off before I got it, and that was originally on the front, I've had to swap the heads around. And it wouldn't plug into this chest piece. And as this chest piece has the uh, beast heads plugging into it and stuff like that, and that's kind of more structural. And it, it just wouldn't hold the weight. So sadly, I can't use that head. Oh, what a shame. Don't like it anyway. Not a problem. But it is still there. Everything is still as it should be. Uh, you also can get the stinger bit with the big peg sticking off the back. Slide that out. And you've got his gun. Put it in his hand. And it has no spring in it, which isn't a big deal. Uh, you do have the missiles, there's one there. And the exact same one on the other side, because I've got two of the same missile. That's why it's not quite flush in there like this one is. But I hate seeing, uh, I hate projectile weapons anyway, so I'm not going to mess with it. It doesn't matter. It's just nice that he's got it. And for size comparison, let's tilt this up a little bit, because I feel like I'm staring down at the floor. Size comparison, we are going to have the other waspy. And again, this one's way better painted, you know, better colours and stuff, but it's definitely there. If you were so inclined, you could paint it like that. I mean, um, some of the detail might be lacking on the head, but if you were handy enough painter, you could get around that. But, yeah, no, I, I, I genuinely like this little figure. He's a cool little guy, and, you know, it's Waspinator. I've got, I think I've actually got every version of Waspinator. I've got animated, I've got this, I've got uh, the Generations. Uh, what am I missing? Beast Wars, knockoff Beast Wars, animated, Generations. I think the only one I haven't got is that little one that came with, like, Starscream or something in the little uh, Generations Legends set. I think that's the only one I don't have that I know of until they start releasing more of them. But still, I do love a little bit of Waspy. Bless his socks. Ah. So, yeah, good review. There you go. Um, I'm going to scarf her because I've got to go to work soon. And then I actually get a whole weekend off, not just, like, one day where I get up, feel dead, then go back to bed, go back to work. But I've actually got a weekend. Woo! Which is why I'm pre-recording before that weekend. Shut up. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go. So, 
Ash Bailey, Ash Wretched, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye!